My name is Mwesigwa Evert. I was born in Uganda and uh, I love my country. Yeah, I like my job because I have to. Because it's a job who pays me every month. I'm an independent, I'm not depending on anyone. And I respect the person who gives me a job. So I have to love my job. For, because when you don't love what you're doing, I don't think that good can give you an opportunity for other opportunity to govern another job. So I love what I'm doing. You have to be faithful in the little you have, then God will give you more and more. When I was young, um, I didn't grow up with my parents, but they both are still alive. I grew up with one of my relatives. Life was so hard to me. I was so young. Mm, I was innocent. So I go through some torturing. So when I grow up, I grow up when I saw that I thought that maybe there is no one who likes me because my parents, I didn't grow up with them. So when I grow up, I found that Jesus is the one who loves me more than anyone because I saw many changes in my life. I was hot tempered. Uh, now I'm, I'm a humble person, you can step on me and you go. So I'm proud of it. God has me because Jesus is the first person to know before anything. So Jesus, God is part of me. Just I want to learn to know him more. Now I want, uh, when I'm prepared to have a family, I want my family to be different the way I've grown up. So I don't want to have a family like, to, 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 to have a difficult life that I was in. So I want my life, my family to be different from the my family I was. I was too much tortured. I uh, an abuse. I didn't get an opportunity like other and I other children. So there is something one of my sisters they used to, to, to call me a childish. I love the word called mama. Uh -huh. Because when I was young I didn't get opportunity to call that word mama mama. So if I saw anyone call him mama, mama, they laugh at me that I'm childish, but I love it. I thank God because I'm still alive now. Because I remember a few years ago when after I become an independent, I get a headache. It was too much. I lived with headache for three years, a lot of pain. I lose hope. That's how I found the, some people who teach me about Jesus. So when I start praying, praying, I get healed. That my biggest testimony in my life it was my first testimony. Jesus didn't trust to me, so it's my first testimony, and I love it so much. To yeah. be happy, to have a hope, to love people who are surrounding you. And uh, there is a lady who tortured me when I was young. She has a children here in Kampala. So to, for me, I love them, I visit them, I chat with them, I forgive them. That's the most important, to be happy. Yeah. To be happy, it's not means that you have uh, to be in, in a good life, a luxury things. To be happy is inside you. Yeah, inside my heart, I'm happy. Yeah. In fact, he's, uh, no, he's not a biological son. Uh -huh. uh, he came here as a relative to come and stay, but for me, the way he was, the way he's hard working, I took him to be my son. Because the things he did to me, even my own biological son cannot do them, was hard working. He could do everything even a woman can do. I was so sorry. 
I don't know how I can explain. This boy has been all in all to us, especially our family, my own biological children. Became, he really became a very good boy. We, we had no help even because he was looking after our cattle. I think you saw our crowd there. Mm -hmm. He could do everything right from cooking and cleaning the house. He was very, very, very hard working. He did things as if he was doing his own things. Even up to now, he goes to visit my children at school, where we are stuck. Even if, with his little income, at least he can buy a paint of milk, sugar, and take to my children. I'm really grateful for him. I don't know how I can explain about this boy. Sometimes when I talk, I become too emotional. Because he's like his real, real brother. He guides them, especially my first one is now at campus, first year. Uh -huh. You know, it is tough for that age. But he takes his time when he's like, some days off, he goes there in the hostel, trying to show her how she should go on. She should not be tempted by these men. She should be satisfied with the little she gets. I can't explain much. I, I think if I can explain about Mwesugwa, you can spend the whole day. I think happiness, for me, I, I think about happiness is, first and foremost, is having God. Once you have God, I think that's the real happiness you can get on this world. With the little you have, you are happy with it. You know Jesus can provide everything. You, in, because I think when you are really saved, you get contented with the little you have. I think that's the most happiness you should have on this world, having God and knowing God first. Because he said we should seek him first and all other things will be added unto us. Challenges come, sometimes you find you don't yeah. have school fees, sometimes, but you say, let us pray. If God really can feed these birds in the air, why not us? Let us trust, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we Ugandans, even if we are employed, we are underpaid. But at least we try to make things move on. I have a lot of faith.